Well, hey, it's Heidi. Today we're talking about why do restaurants serve bread? I know, have you ever really wondered why do they really do that? Stay tuned. Well, hey, it's Heidi Dulabon, and today we are going to answer the question, why do restaurants really serve you bread as soon as you sit down and that gorgeous basket of bread comes? Why is that? Well, before we get into that, I would just be so grateful, please, if you would like this video and please hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate that. Okay, so let's just dive in. Well, bread. Oh, do you love it? I love it. We've been eating it for millennia. One of the first things we started eating, we love bread. I personally, I don't have a sweet tooth. I have a carbohydrate tooth. Ugh. Okay, so we've been eating it for a long time, but what? where's the, the history? What's the origin of sitting down and being served bread? And we do this many places around the world. Well, it has its roots in taverns. And there are many versions of taverns throughout history, but several centuries ago in England, and then finally on to North America, we had taverns and taverns served uh, alcohol, ale, beer, wine, coffee, tea, and they also served food, but they usually served one meal a day. And it was for a very low price, like one shilling. You could get a nice meal in a tavern. We did not have restaurants yet. Taverns were the precursor of restaurants. So this was your big time out and you'd go to the tavern for a meal, very inexpensive. So you'd sit down and you would be served some bread. Why was that? Well, two schools of thought. One is, well, you know, that expensive meat protein that you're going to get for your meal for this very low price. Well, maybe if you fill up a little bit on some bread that's much cheaper, that can help stretch out the meat proteins. Okay, one school of thought, but another school of thought that I personally really like and subscribe to, it is a sign of hospitality that when you sit down, you're offered some beautiful warm rolls, some breads of different kinds. And that is saying, welcome, come in. We wanna be hospitable to you. We'd like to break bread with you. It's a communal feeling. It's a warm, embracing hospitality. Okay, so that's great. It's about hospitality. Okay, so now fast forward. Now we have restaurants and even today you sit down and out comes some bread in a beautiful basket, different types of things. Why do they do that today? Well, it's the same reason. Yes, it's the same reason. It is a sign of hospitality. It is a warm welcome. It's a chance for restaurants to show off their baking skills. Yes, they have a fabulous pastry chef on staff and that pastry chef can have a few signature breads that they bring out and restaurants even are known for their bread baskets. Just think about some of the restaurants you frequent. You know when you go to a certain restaurant, you're going to get a certain kind of bread in that basket. They're known for it. They're famous for it. Yes, I know my favorite restaurant. I know when I sit down there, this gorgeous basket comes out with all these breads, dark breads, light breads, and this gorgeous flat bread full of seeds. Ah, oh, I look forward to the bread basket. And I don't fill up on it, no, but I, I love it and I look forward to it. So today it's a way of showing hospitality, warm welcome, and I wanna show off all my artisanal baking skills, beautiful artisanal breads. Okay, that sounds really good, but now I've looked into some restaurant associations that are saying, well, for sustainability reasons, maybe the bird basket should be a bit smaller. So you eat what's in the basket, you can always ask for more and they're very happy to bring you more. They just don't want so much waste. Some restaurants you may find even charging a small fee. So just know that if you see that, that's just an effort for sustainability to cut down on waste. So I hope this answers that question, why do restaurants serve bread anyway? But hey, do you need a little refresher on the old 
breadbasket etiquette? Well, there is etiquette. And if you want to be at the highest circles, you want to be really super strict with your etiquette, well, then you're supposed to wait until a meal is served. But hey, it's informal dining. I'm with family and friends. You know, I'm, I'm the etiquette. You know, I, I'm, I'm practicing it, but it doesn't have to be the highest levels, right? For a moment, Heidi. Yeah, please. Okay, then dive in. I know my favorite favorite restaurant. I told you about. Oh, first thing, I crack off a piece of that flatbread. Oh, I love it. So what is okay? So we're just going to have a little bit before our meal. We're going to make this informal. What is the etiquette? Well, here's the etiquette, just a refresher. I'll leave a link to our longer dining etiquette and you can get the whole story there. Generally speaking, you pass, right? It's part of the communal thing, the hospitality, breaking bread together, right? Okay, so what you do, if the basket is in front of you, you pick it up, you turn to the person on your left and you offer them a piece. They would take a piece then I, for me, I would take a little piece, put on my bread plate, and then I'd pass it to the right because everything at the table is passed to the right, except port, that's another story. Okay, so now I have a piece on my bread plate. Be aware if you're in France, informal dining, no bread plate, you just put it on the table. It's okay. So what about the butter? Well, my bread basket has a little, a little ramekin of butter here is the butter etiquette. Take your butter knife and you would take a piece, some of the butter out of there, put it on your plate. You wanna be really picky, left, uh, really, really picky. You can just put it on your plate. And then here's what you do. You break off one piece at a time. You break and butter one piece at a time with this butter that's on your plate and then you'd eat it one piece at a time. Okay, little bread etiquette refresher. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it. Please drop me a comment. What do you think about bread baskets? And what's your favorite? Oh, mine is, okay, I'm just gonna tell you, one of my favorites is RL, Ralph Lauren's Restaurant in Chicago. Oh, the bread basket to die for. Tell them Heidi sent you. <laughs> and um, please be so kind to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. I'd be so grateful. Hey, everyone. Happy bread eating. And as I always say, everyone, please be kind. Thank you.